Good morning, everybody. Ace Daily starts now. Trying to vlog here. Can you keep it down? He can't hear me over his leaf blower. So how's everybody doing today? Ooh. That's good and or, oh, I'm sorry. Hey, just thought I'd let you know I'm working hard today on coming up with some other cool place to go after I get off work. So I'm going to let y'all go here. Now there is a bit that I needed to explain to you. It was a question that was submitted to me by one of my biggest fans. So right after I'm done with this, I'm going to put a little explanation in there to uh, give you a little bit more heads up. This is about the castle from yesterday's vlog. I've had some people ask about the castle above the Hope Outdoor Gallery. This was uh, begun as the Texas Military Institute back at the end of the Civil War. When TMI left the property, it became the Texas German and English Academy. At the turn of the 20th century, the building was abandoned and now currently is a City of Austin and Texas landmark. All right, done with work. Onward to admit. On. Onward to adventure. All right, done with work. Off to adventure. We're at Highland Mall. Opening in 1971, Highland Mall was Austin's first mall. Austin Scarborough and J.C. Penney were the first three anchor stores. Back in its heyday, when Highland Mall was flourishing, that was Joski's. And then it became Dillard's. This was one of the major hubs of Highland Mall. We're taking this part together, but this was the south entrance. Foley's also. And then Foley's became Macy's. Again, this was all part of the extension. This is still Foley's. Foley's was two stories. Uh, Joski's slash Dillard's was three stories. The mall was a two-story mall. J.C. Penney's. J.C. Penney's was one of the original anchor stores also. This is where it changes a little bit. It used to go all the way through right here. This is the entrance of Scarborough's, another one of the anchor stores. 
This was the main entrance to the mall. And again, that was Joski's, Dillard's, and Scarborough's. And all of this parking lot was parking lot. As you can tell, the big trees were on the entranceway to the mall. screens. Later on it became, I believe, a paintball place at one time. It was also a haunted house, I believe. Island Mall opened in 1971. Now it's Austin Community College Highland. Remember, if I don't see you in the future, I'll see you in the pasture. Please like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment below. Thank you.